just going to start out my day just like how I do at home. I have some coffee. Thank you, wherever you are. <laughs> and then I uh, like to make uh, four cups right away because I'm thinking about coffee all the time. Have I, do I have enough? Have I had too much? <laughs> Well, I did my four cups. That's usually how I start out. And then, um, and then I usually have just a little bit of clay left over, so then I just uh, make something else. And then I thought, well, I can do better. So I'll just quick look at them, and I'll just ask myself some simple questions. Which do I like best and why? Which is the worst and why? And um, there's usually some little thing I'm working on, and. Uh, one of the things I've been really aware of recently in my work is the difference between the outside uh, treatment and the inside treatment. What I mean by that is the marks from my hands and my fingers, the, the emotion, um, the line, and I'm trying to make them more similar right now. I'm just aware that I have a difference. It's just a habit right now. And you know, you work at something long enough and you realize certain things you want to change. But that's how it goes. That's kind of what keeps you in the game of it all. Um, and then I'll forget about them. So I, I made some cups yesterday. Um, so I just wanted to put these handles on. So one of the things one of my teachers had me do, which really was kind of a good exercise, he said to me, well, just stay up all night. and." Um, make handles and then just go around and stick them around the room you know just stick them everywhere you can and then um, we'll look at them you know later but anyway by the I don't know maybe three four in the morning I started feeling kind of good about it you know and uh, oh this is round I was sorry I back I mean this is round now I'll go to flat just like making you know dice it's just like making dice, making the flat. Anyway, um, you know, I went to bed and I was like, yeah, this is good. This has come along. And then um, I got up in the morning, I went back into the studio and I tried pulling a handle. It's like I lost it. You know, within hours I had lost it. Two by four, then I think, okay, what's wrong with this picture? That's usually what I ask myself, you know, from the Highlights magazine. Um, how do you go from that to, to this? You know, well, you need a thin edge. How do you do that? Well, lots of different ways. If we're teaching um, little kids, um, I would say, well, bring in the bats, and the bats are going to fly in, and they're going to smash that edge down. So they're just pushing the edge down. So now I basically have the same thing with a I've got a flattened edge here and here. I've got some marks from my bat bodies. But I have a nice thick middle. And um, I like a thick middle on a handle uh, just for strength. And the vi I like the visual quality as well. So it's pretty much, it's kind of roughed in in this stage, kind of roughed in. I can make it longer. I can make it wider this way. Now I know it's too long, so I might as well 
you know, hack it up a little bit. So uh, just cut it. A little bit easier to handle now. Now I cut it straight at an angle this way. So that means it's going to come down. And I actually want it to spring up. So that taught me to cut it at an angle. So it's cut at a, I don't know, 45 or something, I don't know. So now it'll spring up like that. So that's that. Now what? Now I think, oh, what's wrong with this picture? Back to the Highlights magazine. Um, I want it, say I wanted it tapered. So I would just cut it into a taper. So now I've cut it into a taper, but now I screwed up my edge. So my edge is, is too fat now. So now I'll go back. I'll smash the edge down. So now I have an edge I, I could maybe like or love. And I've got a, you know, it's pretty much what I want. Um, I learned, you know, by playing around with it, it's going to break. That's the other problem I had. It would always break there. So that was sort of trouble. So then I thought, well, don't bend it around, you know. <laughs> That's pretty elementary, but nobody told me that. So then I watched the glass blowers, and when glass blowers work, they have gravity. So what they do is they actually use scissors. They'll cut their handle. Then when they flip it over, they hang on with their scissors, and that keeps it from bending back and forth. I'll just hang on to it like, like, like that whenever I'm going to move it around. Just I'll always work in this position, up, straight up, at a tension, or if I flip it, I'll work in this position. So I eliminate that bendy. So I'm back to this. It's cut at the angle. I don't have my nail head on there, so I'm just going to, I call it chubbing it up. I'm going to chub this up. Whatever. So I'm going to work up and down. <clears throat> I'm pushing my nail head on. I'm uh, bringing my mini bats in to fix to fix the edge a little bit. Now I'm going to tip it over. And now, I mean, basically I could just attach it, but I, w I want to uh, correct a little bit the, the line in it, the feeling in it. Uh, I want to thin it a little bit. I've got just a little more opportunity to, to um, change it. And I'm from the Dairy State. So this uh, helps. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It is kind of a lazy Susan, really. I'm lengthening it just a little bit. I always cut it a little bit too short. So then I give it another pull, or I'll try to lengthen it a little bit. Now back to your question here. Now I'm going to attach it on the bottom here. And I actually kind of like the tension here of this, you know, at the top I've got this, hi, how are you? You know, at the bottom it's like, well, I'm not so sure. I want to know you. <laughs> and I think it'll, if I work wet enough, I could get away with this. I could just sort of splot it on there and it would actually stay on and do its duty. Uh, but I'm, but I know it's not, the cup's a little too hard, so I'm going to just try to do it so you can see. I'm just going to take my knife and squash that in, and then I'm going to do the scoring. Now I'm just going to add a little coil. 
Now, this is to do a couple things. One is to um, add more material so that it will join. And then the other thing is, um, uh, visually, I'm going to get what I, what I want. And that's sort of a harder thing to describe, you know, what it is that you want. And I think it's sort of like drawing in 3D is sort of how I think about it. You've got a three-dimensional material, but you're actually sort of drawing. I'm trying to come up with, I'm trying to do two things. I'm trying to make it so it stays together and does its duty, but also looks a certain way that I want it to look. And the, the second part is the harder part to, you know, really articulate. It's like you know it when you see it kind of thing. Well, I don't always, but, you know, if I keep doing it, maybe sometime I'll get it right. I'll just sit and look at these real quick, and I'll, I'll uh, ask myself which is my favorite and why, and which is my least favorite and why. And I'm someone that's really super critical of uh, my work, and this is a way I found that I can um, keep being critical because I want to be critical to get better, but I don't want to beat myself up, which is sort of my natural manner.